doing great and I'm so excited to be here today with the sweater weather tag although I'm a little delayed with it it's still winter time so I think that it can still flow into that uh, kind of season but it's such a fun tag and I was actually tagged by Jen from Organize Like Jen and she also has a channel My Housewife Life and I'm Busy Bee Buzz and I'll put the links to her channels below and she tagged me in it and thank you Jen for tagging me in this video because I think it's just absolutely a fun video to do and I'm excited to do it. And so I'm going to jump right in. My questions are probably not going to be in any type of order but I'm going to get all the questions in. So um, it started with, let's see, my favorite candle scent. And actually right now it's not a candle that I'm really um, into. Usually you guys know I love my candles and but you know I I'm putting out my Christmas decorations and things like that and I don't have a real tree. My tree is an artificial tree. All the trees in my house, not that I have a ton of trees, but the ones that I have in my house um, are artificial. And so what I have been <clears throat> really loving this year and last year is Scentsy um, pine scented fragrances. One that I love that they have this year is Iced Pine and this is not a candle this is actually a concentrated spray and what I love about this is I can spray my tree with this and spray this around my house and it gives me that beautiful fragrance like I have a truly a real tree in my house and that it just gives you that great holiday fragrance smell and like I said this is Iced Pine it's a concentrated spray and then they also I have Scentsy Burners so I got the Winter Pine to actually put in my burner and it just it brings Christmas to your home I mean it just really just is a great scent for the season and so this is kind of what I'm feeling right now and um, I just ordered mine from my girlfriend here she sells it crystal and so I'll put the link to her website um, below if you want to order some Scentsy but I you know I'm a fan of this product and it you know it just really is great for this season with the ice pine and the winter pine. I also bought the little um, car scent too to put in my car. So that's what I'm loving as far as my favorite scent. Now the next one is coffee, tea, or hot chocolate. Love them all. So I do like all three, but what I have been doing, and, and actually into the fall, if you uh, read my, I think my last blog post, I talked about this um, Harney and Sons tea that I got from Target that I absolutely love. And they actually have a winter peppermint that I wanted to um, pick up and try, and I haven't tried it yet. But I have really been um, loving the pumpkin spice here is the pumpkin spice yeah pumpkin spice one here is the one i've been loving and enjoying for the last month or so going into the, you know the fall season but now we're into winter so i'm kind of i had hot chocolate the other night so i'm kind of transitioning into that but i love this horny and sons blend of tea because it just it's not overpowering but it's just a nice flavor you do taste the flavor but it's not over um powering so that's what i've been loving and the next is best fall memory what what the question was. So my best fall memory, I would have to say, would be the birth of my son. You know, although he's uh, 23 years old now, they grow up so fast, but, um, you know, he was born in the fall, and that is just my most memorable moment. And, you know, it's hard to believe, it feels like yesterday he was just that newborn baby, and it's hard to believe now that he's a grown man. And so for all you young mommies out there with little babies, you know, treasure, treasure your children and hug them every day and enjoy every moment at the age they're at because they're not going to be there long. It's just unbelievable how time flies because I, I don't, do not feel like I have a son that's 23 years old. You know, I know I'm old, but I just don't feel like I have a son that's 23 years old. So the next question is, which makeup trend do you prefer, dark lip or winged eyeliner? Um, I have to go with dark lip. Um, I, I don't even know that I could do a wing eyeliner. I'm just so not good with makeup. But one that ha I have always had in my small, very small makeup collection is MAC um, Cyber. Um, this is about the only lipstick I've ever worn from MAC. And um, it's a very vampy color, very dark color, um, like a rich um, blackberry purpley dark um, color but you know I do enjoy wearing it at times a lot of times I just use the only other thing I wear on my lips is um, um, lip glass from MAC, MAC lip glass and it's um, date night and usually that's what I'm wearing I'm, I very rarely wear the dark lip but if I did I would have to go with the dark lip and then the next one was favorite holiday food 
Um, I would have to say my favorite holiday food would have to be kind of the turkey and the cranberry sauce and things like that. I actually like after the holidays making me a nice turkey and cranberry sandwich. I think that's just the best on some toast. Oh, it, it just, that's my love. So I would go with turkey and cranberry sauce. Um, the next thing would be most worn sweater. And I wore it today to show you, and this is my just favorite winter sweater. I love it because it's just, it has this you know, huge cow neck. It's just really cozy. I throw it over a t-shirt or a shirt and I can go out shopping, go out, do what I need to do. I can wear it around the house and still feel cuddly, like I have a blanket around me. And so it's just a, a very lovely sweater, I think. I've had it for a couple years now. I actually got it from uh, Victoria's Secret's website where their clothing website, and I just absolutely love their sweaters and um, their winter clothes. So a lot of times I will shop from their um, winter line of um, clothing. And so this was one of the sweaters I got off the site a couple years back, but it's just really a nice cozy sweater. And I love it because I, I love how it fits, you know, on my arms. I like for it to just kind of be um, tight on my arms a little bit. Not tight, but just kind of fitting on the arms. But I love this sweater. Okay, so as far as my favorite fall winter scent, the scent that I have been going to is my Dolce & Gabbana, um, Rose the One, and you know, I've had this a while, but if for some reason this season here, I have been really uh, drawn to it, and this is what I've been grabbing to put on, and I, I love it, and, and so I just have been feeling this fragrance this fall. Um, I know it has some amber tones in it in the scent. I'm so awful at describing scents, but it does have a little bit of um, amber in it and so I don't know if that's what's kind of attracting me to it for the fall winter season but um, this is one of my go-to's this season so love it and so uh, the next one is my must-have nail polish and for me again I'm into those dark vampy colors in the winter season and in the fall season um, I actually can wear it all year because I think with my skin tone I just love the way it looks but this one right here I have worn Revlon for ever since I was a teenager and I love Revlon nail polishes and so this one here is seductive by um, um, by Revlon it's a kind of a deep purple color but when you put it on it looks like an espresso color but I just absolutely love this color I love how rich and rich and dark it is and it's just one of my favorites and I can just wear this all the time I don't have it on now but it is one of um, one it just totally is one of my favorites Okay, the next one is mm, football games. My next one is football games or jumping in a pile of leaves. Which would I prefer to do? I would say football games. I'm not into football at all, but my family loves it. And so I do enjoy sitting around with them while they're enjoying it. Although I don't follow it or anything like that. Um, I think I would prefer to do that than to jump in a pile of leaves. Just my preference. And I've never jumped in leaves, so I really don't have nothing to base it on. And so the next one is, um, do I prefer skinny jeans or leggings? And I actually like both of them. Um, I like skinny jeans and I like leggings. I tend to lean more right now towards leggings because, like I said, you can throw them on with a, a nice sweater and have your leggings and you're just very comfy. Whether you're going out and about to handle errands or you're at home, um, if you're going out for date night with the husband, you know, so I think that they just can take you a long way. So I really am a fan of my leggings right now. So if I had to pick one over the, uh, oh, one over the other, it would be the leggings. Okay, and so the next one would be Uggs or Combat Boots. And I have to see, say neither one. Um, I, I don't own a pair of Uggs nor Combat Boots. Um, and I, it's just, I guess, not, you know, not my style. I see a lot of uh, women and, and young ladies in them, and I think it's absolutely cute and adorable. It's just not uh, my style. I'm more of a, a slides kind of girl, so you may see me in some slides or something like that. But, um, n no, I'm, I don't wear either one of those. If I just had to choose, and you, you know, I said I had to choose one, I, I probably would go with the Uggs, I would think, for the comfort, because I've heard they're very comfortable. Okay, the next one is, is pumpkin spice worth the hype? Now, I would say no, because... I'm not really, you know, over the moon in love with it. I've had it before from Starbucks, and it's 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 nice. I'm um, a nice um, fall beverage, but 
I, you know, I can take it or leave it. When I go to Starbucks, I typically don't order that, so it's not anything that I'm just kind of, um, you know, addicted to. I know that it is um, a huge favorite uh, by many people, but for me, it's just not one of my favorites. So I would say, I, on that one, I would have to say, no, nah, it's not worth it for me. And favorite fall TV show. Now, you guys, I am not into quality TV at all. I, you know, I very, I don't watch a lot of TV. Um, one thing me and my husband do like to watch every day is our family feud with Steve Harvey. We do love family feud, so we do watch that every day at 7 o'clock, um, Monday through Friday. And, but I have to say, the only show that I have been watching this fall, winter season has been my Housewives. The two are um, Housewives of Beverly Hills and Housewives of Atlanta. Those are only two I'm watching right now. I think they're the only two that's on right now. Um, I do follow all the Housewives um, series except for uh, Housewives of Miami. I just cannot get into them for some reason. Don't know what it is, but I just something about it is just can't keep my attention. But basically, that's all I'm watching right now. Um, I used to watch Scandal. I just somehow dropped the ball on this past season or something I just I don't know and I haven't been catching it and so I, I I'm kind of out of the loop with it although I hear from friends that it's just you gotta watch you gotta watch and I just never catch it and I don't know if it's because of the night it comes on that it's crazy for me I don't know but um I'm hoping to get back into scandal um but right now it's just that Housewives of Atlanta and Housewives of Beverly Hills not you know I'm not into that quality TV but I do love it so it's quality TV so the next one is my songs that get me into the holiday season um usually I love my um, Nicole Henry I you know I like jazz and so she is just a soulful jazz her, she's just a very upbeat jazzy singer and so when I play her tunes it just puts me in a good mood um this fall I kind of killed her this fall I well I killed her this fall but I listened to her all year but I just really in the fall she just really you know you will when you come in my house you will hear, hear Nicole Henry and so now I'm kind of transitioning away from her with the Christmas season to Christmas tunes and every Christmas I am Tony Braxton's Snowflakes Christmas album or CD that's what I listen to I listen to it in my car I listen to it at home something about that CD is Christmas for me so I you know um my husband is totally in love with Tony Braxton. He has been in love with that woman for years. And so I love her voice and I think he just loves her overall. So she's a part of our home every Christmas. So um, we, we do love um, that Tony Braxton's Snowflakes Christmas album. And so I think that is the last question. I had so much fun answering these questions on the tag. I would like to tag all of you out there to do this sweater weather tag. I'm also gonna I'm also going to tag some of my uh, YouTube friends down below. Um, so in the description box below, I'm gonna tag some of my um, friends down there to do this tag. And if you do this tag, please let me know by sending it to me on Twitter or in the comments or some kind of way because I would love to see it. I hope that you all are having a beautiful holiday season. I'm coming to you with more videos and I'll see you at the next one. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.